Okay, so today, people, we take a look at a new shotgun that arrived with the Guns of Love and Tentacles DLC called the Nothingness. Is this like I am seeing people claim the new best shotgun in the game? Well, today, people, we find out. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. So, this Nothingness is a Maliwan shotgun. For me at least was such a pain to get the perfect one for my build because the drop rate seemed crazy low. Now this is a dedicated drop by the way to the Gimork boss within the Cranker Wood upon Xylargos, which I will show you guys the location to at the end of the video. So coming out of early access for this game I did see a couple of other content creators state this was the new best shotgun in the game. Now I won't ever go off what anybody else says as I always like to test stuff myself but seeing people rate this that highly who obviously know their way around this game it does push me to believe that this is what they say or at least up there. So this nothingness drops offering all elements I do believe and as many Malawan weapons offer you can indeed switch up its element at any time you like. It comes offering two of any two elements in the game by the way. So my variant is a binary compressing nothingness which does 4103 damage times 2. But this other variant I have which is named the same does a little less damage but it does have double the ammo within its clip. Accuracy handling and fire rate though on this is pretty poor with the reload being about average to decent for such a clunky weapon. So playing around with this thing with a test dummy I can straight up see why people are indeed enjoying this thing. The way in which this acts upon firing it does remind me a little of the flacker but with a much tighter spread and said secondary explosions as after you charge this weapon as like 99% of Maliwan weapons in this game you do have to charge it you release a laser beam which fires two lasers which within themselves do great damage but are followed up by many explosions which also do decent damage too. Now under my testing and slowing down this footage as slow as I could I counted around 15 explosions after the initial shot but I could be wrong here I mean it was so hard to count these it was unbelievable they were just popping off all over the place. Now shooting at the test dummy from this angle as you can see it seems as though those projectiles travel further than the target even if you direct impact that target you shoot at. So in many cases if you are too close to an enemy you'll see these projectiles beyond the enemy. If you are at a certain range from the enemy you'll probably see these projectiles explode prior to where that shot actually lands. So we have here a great AOE favoured weapon. This means the bigger the target you are firing at the more likely you will receive the full impact of this weapon. And in reality for me it showed as the smaller enemies I was shooting at it seemed as though I was doing way less damage to them and it's because of the spread of those secondary explosions. But if that target is of a decent size like I said you do indeed see this thing's presence. Well it does lack though is range, I mean it's got no range whatsoever, it really has none of it which is a little disappointing due to it being a charged weapon, you'd expect it to travel a little further. Other than that though it's quite a powerhouse which I did enjoy using for sure. Now the question is, do I think this is the best shotgun in the game? And my answer is, quite simply, no. This isn't anywhere near the best shotgun in this game. The Anarchy is almost better in every single way. Now if you use the Anarchy the way it's made to be used, after about that second reload this nothingness doesn't touch it in terms of damage output. The Anarchy also does way more DPS due to that no charge time making it also much more efficient in my opinion in everyday usage and it also destroys at all ranges and just makes for better all round weapon. But in saying that this nothingness is still a great weapon and it's super powerful. But as for being the best shotgun in the game, I wouldn't say so. On screen now you can see the route you must take to get to Gamora who has this within his loot pool but warning guys for me he was kinda stingy. Hopefully that isn't the case for you. So yes people those were my thoughts on this nothingness Maliwan shotgun. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One. For my never-ending quest to show Winnie why I absolutely adore hunting, we simply must hunt down something of the badass Lupine variety. Dire